Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam. Time for another FlySky i6s tutorial, and we're going to be talking about the trim function. How do you use trims on the i6s? Well, it's not super great, and that's why I don't really think this is a good transmitter for people who fly airplanes, but let me show you and I'll let you decide. So what we need to do first is get into the transmitter and then set that up, and then we'll do it then we'll apply the trims to our little trainer airplane right here. With our transmitter turned on, let's press and hold the lock button to unlock the, the, the menu button thing. Let's get into the function menu here. And right, right here at the bottom of the first screen, it says trims. Let's tap that. And right now it's set to off. Let's set it to on. And you can see here it says at the servo display page to to adjust the right stick trim, press and hold key one, move blah, 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 just basically directions. So let's get out of there because I'm about to show you that right now. So now we're in the main screen and what we need to do is swipe to swipe to the right to get to our servo or our channel display page. Here's where we can see all of the different channels. Now, the on the back or the front, arguably, on the other side of the transmitter, we have these two buttons right here and it just does not want to focus these two buttons right here on the back of the transmitter. And uh, basically the way that this works is to apply the trim, you want to uh, press the, op the key opposite of the stick that you want to use the trim with. So for example, if I wanted to use some uh, elevator trim, I would hold down this key on the left side with my left hand, and then as I'm holding it down, I can uh, move the stick in the direction that I want the trim to go. And you'll hear those beeping sounds. And we can see on the screen, channel two, we can see that we're moving the trim just like that. Now let me show you the trim function on our little trainer demonstration airplane here. Let's, let's, do, uh, let's do some rudder trim. So that'll be this stick right here. I will press this key and then just move the rudder stick whichever direction I want the trim to go. And you can't see a whole lot of movement partly because there, it doesn't move it much and partly because there's a lot of slack in the control rod. So that's part of why it doesn't look like it's moving much. But again, it's trim, so it's not really supposed to move a whole lot. Okay, if we wanna go back the other way, we just, we just press that button again and we go back the other direction. I think you get the idea. Now, here's the thing. Here's my problem with this whole trim system. It's nice that they put in the trim because I was like, oh man, I just I thought there wasn't any trim because they don't have trim buttons like uh, the i6 or i6x or almost any other uh, transmitter, which is a, a big bummer if you like flying airplanes because you use the trim quite a bit with airplanes. And the problem with this method is, well, one, it's complicated. Two, you have to swipe the screen. so. If you're, you know, you're flying, you're not looking at the transmitter because you got to look at your airplane, and then you have to be able to swipe the screen, and make sure you're on this correct screen, 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 and you didn't swipe it uh, too much to get to this other one, and yeah, so it's it's not a good setup. And then the other thing is that while you're applying the trim to that stick or to that channel, the the stick won't do anything for your airplane. So for example, let's say you wanted to add some elevator trim because your airplane was like nose diving, you know, so you want to you want to add some up elevator. So you're trying to hold your plane up, uh, you know, trying to keep it from nose diving because maybe it's nose heavy or something. Well, and I'm like, okay, I want to add some some trim. So I need to be, you know, flying my plane. I have to swipe over here and then I have to press uh, this key opposite of the stick and then um i'm but but nothing's happening though nothing's happening because i have to bring the stick back to center uh oh which means the the airplane might just be nose diving and so i pull back on the stick again to give myself some trim and yeah it's kind of you know it's it's working it's going but you know you're not going to get a whole lot out of the trim anyway so um basically you got to have enough time to actually uh, put in the trim uh, before your airplane crashes. So 
if you didn't have the trim set up and like you forgot about the trims and you started flying your airplane, you probably would not be able to press and hold this unlock button and then get into the menu and then find the trims menu and then turn it on and then go back to the main menu and then swipe to this menu and then you still have to remember to press the correct key in order to get the, the, the trims working. So it's a little complicated there, I would say. And one more thing, if you want to just get rid of all of the trims, uh, to center all of the trims, you have to go back into the menu, go into the trims menu, and then just hit reset right there. That little backwards circle, and then it will reset all of the stuff. And then you have to, if you still want to use the trims, you got to make sure you turn it back on. You let me know how this works for you. If, uh, if you think this is a good idea, or if you've used it before, let me know. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And if you have any other questions about this or other Fly Sky stuff, leave me a comment and maybe I or someone else will be able to help you. And if you like this video, I have a whole bunch of Fly Sky videos uh, in this playlist right over here. So go check those out. I think you'll have a great time. Thanks everybody so much for watching. I appreciate you. I appreciate your time. And I will see you again very soon.